Hello and welcome to Monkey's Paper Palooza Craft Corner. Today we're going to go on a different level here. We're going to go into certain things that are going on on the market. One being the Misty lawsuits that took a lot of our wonderful platforms off the market, as well as some things that happened that have made me rethink how we're going to do reviews in the future. Um, so let's start with this. These are your platforms, and this all stems from some stuff that's happened both on the market as well as on my channel with these platforms. Let's start. Let's talk about this. So I did a review with three platforms, the Stamp Perfect, the We Are Member Keepers, and the Tumults. These two cause a little bit of a frustration, I guess, the comparison of these two. Um, no one had any issues about my stamp perfect part, which is weird. Being that I reviewed that one too, but it all stemmed down to me loving the We Are Memory Keepers more than I love the Tim Holt. Now, don't get me wrong. I like both of these. I do. I use both of these. You can see I have all these ink marks all over my Tim Holtz too, as much as I have over my We Are Memory Keepers. I use them for entirely different things. I feel one is better for certain things and one is good for other things and that is nothing wrong with that it this one is just fine this one is a little bit easier to do certain things with and that's all i said with the video is that one makes life a little easier now these two sadly are no longer on the market and the reason being is that their hinge design and that has been a downfall for a lot of stamp platforms because misty has patented the hinge design now misty has every right every right to patent its product product has every right to sue people that infringe on it so do not get mad at them it's not their fault they have a right to protect their product now we are memory keepers was smart enough to get past the hinge and move on. So let's talk about what happened. So Misty, which is almost identical to this, came out with their product. They price ranged it starting at $60 and everybody went crazy and fell in love. And it had a beautiful little clear glass and hinge design and rulers and a foam removal mat. Everything that we all love about the stamping platform. Now, Tim Holtz, same issue, except they don't have a lot of the extras that the Misty does. The only reason Tim Holtz was able to survive as long as he did for almost years, multiple years, and be able to make a second platform even while this lawsuit was going on was because he had a removal pallet. And the only reason this one has survived is because Misty can't touch it because there is no hinge design. It's a peg system. And someone asked me earlier too, and I'm going to put this on, that whether the pegs move around, they don't really move around. I don't understand where somebody said they moved around. Uh, I have never seen them move around. I mean, they're not a snug fit, but they're not a loose fit either. So I don't know. But this is the one I've been using exclusively now because of multiple reasons. Main being, I don't want to change you with platforms you can't access <laughs> regularly. And right now this is the only low price range platform available this one is no longer available since july they pulled it in july and it when they reached their settlement so unless you live in europe and you're willing to pay 23 dollars in shipping or to get it here in the u.s and canada from canada you're gonna pay high price point you might as well just go buy a misty unless you love tim Holtz products and you'd rather have that i'm just saying it's going to be just as much. Now, a lot of people were upset because they said I loved We Are Memories more than that. No, I did not. I said everything you can do on all these platforms, you can do on all of them. There's no platform that is exclusive to one product and one thing, one technique. 
I couldn't shove all these things due to the fact that I only have 30 minutes and doing three platforms, I'm going to be limited on time to show you every technique this platform can do. So, with that said, there is nothing wrong with any of these platforms. So I hope that no one under misunderstood this. Now let's go into this. So let's go into what happened with this lawsuit. So we are Memory Keepers and Stamp Perfect both made a platform. They were both hinged. This one was hinged also. It was very similar to this design. Only thing different was it was hinged. And of course this one now is magnetized. The original one was not. They were part of the lawsuit. They took their hinge design off and they left the market voluntarily. Just didn't fight the lawsuit one bit. Same thing with Stamp Perfect, who was almost identical to the Misty. The only thing different was the colored rulers and, of course, the name. Um, but everything else was identical to the Misty. And they even made a larger platform, and both were recalled. Because of their similarities to the Misty. So, while all this was going on, Tim Holtz also came out with his platform. First being the original sized one with a removable plate that you could flip. Now this is the only thing that made Tim Holtz survive as long as he did. And the T Tim Holtz and Tonic were able to fight the Misty company as long as they could. Because nothing about their design was identical. But it was also the fact that the hinge design still existed. That is what finally put the last nail in the coffin for Tim Holtz. It was magnetic and it was hinged. Same thing with this, magnetic and hinged. It's what was the downfall for all these platforms. And Misty had every right, especially with the Stamp Perfect, even though I'm in love with the Stamp Perfect and it was my alternative Misty to go after Hampton Arts for this because it was a total infringement on their behalf. It was like having an evil twin, you know, <laughs> it was like identical, but yet was a lot cheaper. And for poor Misty, that was something they could not compete with. And they took it out on them. And Misty's alternative to the lower price range was to give you the Misty Mini, which was great for 50 bucks, but you end up still having it. A platform that is half the size that you need. So, still, you know, Misty didn't bring their price point down, and these wonderful companies took advantage of it. Because, honestly, they know crafters don't have huge budgets, and everybody wanted one, and they figured we'll take advantage of it and make a lower cost platforms. Now, Tim Holtz did his totally different. He made his for mixed media. That was his other fight, or this was for everyday stamping. But still, what came it down to was the hinge design. And because of the hinge design, they are now off the market. I'm a little too also going to say this that I am there is the stamp apparatus still out there by stamping up that has survived so far although i'm a little concerned they may be next on the chopping block so let's go on into this now at the same time as the travel size for the tim holtz platform came out the we are memory keepers precision plus advance they came out the same time pretty much and we are memory keepers took into consideration when they made theirs the lawsuit going on and it wanted to stay totally out of the radar for Misty. Did not want Misty to come after it. Did not want Misty to take away its abilities to do this. And it took the opportunity to improve itself and change. Now I hope these two companies do the same thing. Because honestly, people want a mid-range mid -range to low-range platform they can use every day. They don't want to spend 60 bucks. I'm sorry, Misty, but they don't want to spend 60 bucks. So here's the thing. If these two companies follow suit with this one, we should have some beautiful platforms coming in the horizon. And I'm not sure about Hampton Arts whether they will, because they have been off the market for almost three years now making one. But I think Tim Holtz will. Tim Holtz is pretty innovative. He's 
always making stuff that's new and interesting and reinventing himself, so I have a feeling he'll do it. Now, this is how this company did it. They go away from the hinge design, which, honestly, I think it makes it a little better. I think hinges kind of give you that area where you have no freedom of movement, and it kind of narrows you down. Now, everybody's going, wait a minute, I love my hinged one. Yes, but it does have some drawbacks where this one does not have those drawbacks. So there's pluses and minuses to having hinged, and there's pluses and minuses to not having hinged. So just putting that out there. This one, you can do a lot more flexibility with. It's great for turnabout stamps, great for layering stamps, great for doing multiples, great for, you know, just like the other ones. I would say the only plus is the fact that you have this removable plate. Now, I'm going to bring this out to show you why I say that. This one has that removable plate, but you can't buy extra plates for it. This one, you get a lot of stress on the plastic brackets. The only thing that helped Tim Holtz with that was his metal bracket, but you still could get stress fractures on your plates and they're non replaceable. So I'm going to show you once again this. Um, the whole reason I had to replace it was because of the stress fractures. And I don't know if you can see them. I'm going to try to bring it up closer so you can see my stress fractures. These occur because you're pressing and you're pressing. And you're pressing, and you just get stress fractures. Like I said, Tim Holtz with his metal bar design that's removable takes away a little bit of stress on the hinges. But I am concerned about whether or not later on down the road you'll get stress fractures from just natural pressure points. Um, and that's what can happen. I mean, you use it on a regular day basis. If you're a card maker and you make cards all the time, you're going to put in a lot of stress on this plastic. The one thing I do love about the Precision Press Advance versus the Tim Holtz is the non hinge. My plate goes wrong, it goes wonky, I buy a new one. They're $8.99. They're cheap, you know. You can have multiples of these where you can only have one of these. So there's a lot of pluses there. There's a lot of minuses there. The Tim Holtz name has a lot of ugh, things to it that bring a lot of almost, he's. He's card making royalty. So let's just go there. Whereas We Are Memory Coopers is more of a paper punch company, and we don't think of them as stampers more. We think of them more as the paper punch company. So we get a little bit of a rivalry going on with these, especially with the travel edition, because the travel edition and this are indeed the same size. So a lot of people say it's the same size. It's just as travelable, it's just as flexible, it's just as good. And I am going to say, they are just as good as each other. There's a lot of things, though, that Tim Holtz is missing in his that I hope he'll bring out if he reinvents his platform. The one thing being the grids. I love grids. I really do. And it was one thing that really saddened, made, saddened me when I got my platform from Tim Holtz was that there was no grids. And you get the grids on this and the grids on the bottom. You just have the grids on the top. Okay, great for positioning your stamp, but what about the paper? So I'm going to just talk about that as well as this plate. Now, if this plate ever got broken, I, like I said, replaced it for $8.99. But, you know, this one, you have to replace the whole platform. You can't just replace the glass plate. And now you can even get the whole platform on the market. So it kind of makes it a moot point now, even reviewing these two comparisons. But I just want to say, you could put multiple projects on a plate, have multiple plat projects, keep it that plate for that project forever. Put a label on it saying, this is for this card and this card only, especially if you make a lot of one card after the fact. Now, this is where people were getting mad at me. Well, you can make multiples on the Tim Holtz too. Yes, you can, but can you keep your stamps on there and put your plate aside and when you need to make 10 more of that card, make it again? No, you're going to have to realign all your stamps again and start from scratch. This one, I can leave the plate, 
Move the plate over. If it's a card I know I'm going to make multiples again of, just leave the plate. Have I could have 20 plates. It's no big deal. This one, you get that limitation. Yes, like I said, you can make multiple cards on whatever platform you want to make. You could use a stamp of my jig and make multiple cards. It's not impossible. I was just saying that Tim Holtz one makes it a little more trickier and more old fashioned to the new one where you could do it and save your plate and just come back later. Now the other downfall, like I said, is this. I really miss having a grid. And I hope he, if he brings it out with a grid, I will be in heaven. I, I don't even care if it's an etched grid. Just something to help me line my paper up. Because if I want to stamp something in the center, I can just line it up and square it in there and center it. Here, I'm stuck. I have to put it in the corner. I can't put it in the center. I have to put it in the corner. Because unless I take a piece of paper or a ruler and just line it up and then line my paper up, it's just not very cohesive. And for that is the reason why I use the We Are Memory Keepers for more of my positioning stamping things. Now one plus I will say is his is modeled for mixed media. So if I get watercolor pen all over it and it makes it dirty, I just wipe it down. Would I do that on this? No, I would not because that would be dangerous. So I use his a lot for like mixed media products where I'm working with watercolors or inking with gelatos because his is very washable. So there's a plus for him. But I would love to see one with a grid. I know you can add grid paper and foam and whatever you need because this one has that foam in the grid. But having that option available with your product is so much better than having it separate. And I do love the removable plate. I really do. It has made stamping a lot easier for me. It's turn a, You can turn it around. You can do whatever you need to do with it. Where I'm kind of stuck with one plate in one location in one style. You can flip it around for rubber and clear. That's it. So I do like that for that because the hinge design does make thickness an issue. And the same thing happened with the Stamp Perfect and the Missy. You can't stamp things after the fact. You have to be, you have to plan this out to a T to stamp. And that is one thing I have to say about the We Are Memory Keepers. They have taken that out of the picture. If I want to stamp something after the fact, because I say, wait a minute, you know, the sentiment would be really pretty on the front of this card. I don't have to put it on a separate piece of paper and attach it. I can do it because there's no hinges holding me back. And I'm going to say that hinges are now old school. And I don't know if Misty's going to finally get a hold of that, but it is now considered old school compared to these free floating platforms. And it might be the future of Tim Holtz's platform if he decides to follow suit with what we are member keepers did and did a floating plate. Because honestly, the hinges are great, but they do come with a lot of limitations. And when we first saw it, it was revolutionary because we were like, oh, wow, it just folds onto itself and it holds it down. You never lose a beat. Now we see that we can do it without the hinge. So like I'm saying, I really hope Tim Holtz takes lessons from We Are Memory Keepers. Because honestly, what they have here is a fantastic product that is still in a low price range and gives a little bit of a revolutionary thought process of you don't need hinges to get precision. And <clears throat> hopefully, Tim, like I said, Tim Holtz will see this and go, oh, you know what? That's a good idea. We don't need a hinge. Then let Misty go after me all they want because guess what? I'm not using the same patent as they are. And I hope we are member keepers do the same thing in patent and theirs because honestly, anybody now can come use that design even Misty. So I really do hope this that 2019 brings a reinvention of Tim Holtz. That he will follow suit with We Are Memory Keepers did last year and just separate from the hinge. Get away from the hinge. Get away from that design. 
You know it's patented by Missy. You know she's going to go after you. You know it's going to happen. Just revolutionize yourself and make yourself more free-floating. And you know what? If he comes out with a product that is comparable to this, oh my God, I'm going to be in love with Tim Holtz again. So I would love to see him come out with a unhinged design with grids and a removable foam mat that we have the option if we're doing mixed media to do exactly what we need to do. Like I said, if this breaks, I can get a new one. And I love the replaceable plate option because if one gets defective or messed up, $8.99, I get a new plate. As quick and easy as that. I could have 20 of those plates stored in my place. So I really hope that he gets some of their ideas and uses it towards his new platform. Because I guarantee you, Tim Holtz will come out with a new platform. I do not see him giving up and saying, I'm never making another platform again. He's going to use this time to reinvent himself. And I think if we have one with a grid, a removable mat, you know, an unhinged design with his special twist to it, it could be my new favorite thing. So <laughs> I'm just saying. Um, it's, it's a year to re reinvent yourself, even on this market. And that is exactly what I'm going to be doing, too. Now, we had a lot of heat over this. Tim Holtz not getting enough attention when I did this review. And people feeling that it was biased over the We Are Memory Keepers to the Tim Holtz. And surprised that I didn't like it as much as I liked that one. Well, I was surprised, too. Because, honestly, I use Tim Holtz all the time. I love his products. And I was so pleasingly surprised with that. So what I'm going to do in the future is I'm not doing comparison reviews anymore. We're going to do demo reviews. So that means I'll do one demo on that and one demo on that. And then you can draw whatever I tell you and conclude your own thing. Because somehow when we do comparison reviews, it causes bickering. And I think if I show in, we get bicker, 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 fight, fight, fight over, I love this product, this is the best product ever, and you should have reviewed it more fairly. Honestly, that's not acceptable. I love constructive criticism when you tell me, hey, I use this with my Tim Holtz and it makes that work better. That's constructive criticism. But when you say that I'm not being fair, that I'm being biased, mm, not acceptable. If you're being rude, it's not acceptable. And I will not accept that on this channel. Because we have too much time doing things that we need to focus on than worrying about what was best and what was better. So that's my choice now. I'm no longer doing comparison reviews. I'm sorry if you guys enjoyed it. We will do demo reviews and I will show each little aspect of this product and what it can do. And then you can draw the conclusion you want. Now if you want the product or you don't want the product. And I think that's a better way of going forward because then I can spend more time telling you about these products. I'm not going to be stuck trying to fit comparisons of two products into 30 minutes because if I go over 30 minutes, you guys get upset because it's too long. So we will do one on this and one on this. And that way you guys don't have to fight with me about you should you should like this better. In fact, if I should have liked anyone better, it should have been Tonic and Tim Holtz because I'm an affiliate for them. And I make a commission when I sell their products. Versus this one, I have no affiliation with. Other than the stores that you buy it from, I have no affiliation for it. So I should have, honestly, if I was going to be biased, gone for the Tim Holtz. But I want my honest opinion to be heard. I really honestly fell in love with the We Are Member Keepers over that. So going on to Ford, we are going to change that up and yes the trouble with two people did cause that and they have since apologized and i have removed the comment that caused the problems and we will move forward so and that's what my message is for 2019 move forward everybody don't step back because <laughs> honestly 2018 is behind us 2019 is coming. We're going to have new things coming in, both in tools and technology, as well as in products and things. So don't 
think that I don't love this product. I probably will not be using this product as much in my videos. I probably will use it for if I'm showing a technique for those people that have Tim Holtz products. Because I know some of you want to see the technique done on that. And the same thing with the Stamp Perfect. If it's a Misty or Stamp Perfect, I'll use that one for it. Only because I want the technique to be shown fairly on all the platforms. But you will not see this one as much as well as the Stamp Perfect. Because I want you to see a platform that you can actually get. And unless you live in Europe, you're not getting those two. So, or Canada or pay an astronomical amount of shipping, which no one should have to do to get a platform. So I'm gonna show you a lot on this platform and I am not trying to be exclusive. It's just the only one that's low price range available on the market right now. I mean, you might be able to find some on eBay and some little used sites, but you're not gonna find it brand new. And we went from having I think six platforms in the market to three. And I'm really concerned Stamparatus is next. So it might be down to two. So I just wanted to show you a product that you can assess easily in a low price range and show the techniques on that versus showing it on something you cannot get and almost feel like I'm teasing you guys saying, na 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 na, I have these platforms and you can't get them. So we are going to continue using this one until new ones come out. Um, when a new one comes out and I feel like doing a demo on it, we might use it. It may become my new favorite thing and this one might go to the side. But for now, this is what we have available on the market on a low price range that everybody can get and assess and try and play with and have fun with. So until things change. This is what will be shown on the videos. I am sorry if people feel like it's a little biased. It's not because I'm being biased. It's because I, like I said, if someone doesn't have a platform and they're watching my video, I want them to buy something they can get. So they're going to go on the other side, look for Tim Holtz and not be able to find a, one anywhere without paying 40, 50 bucks for it. So I wanted something that you guys could actually get to be shown in the videos. And like I said, these will make an appearance when I have a technique that I want to show on a Missy, on a Tim Holtz, and on the other one. But I'm not going to be using them exclusively on my Hero Arts ones and other ones only because of that factor. That I don't want you to feel like you can't get the platform. And people go, why, why, why can't I find this? Because they are no longer on the market. With that being said, you will see this a lot. And I'm sorry if people feel like she only uses this platform. She must, it must be the best thing on earth. It has its limitations too, so don't be concerned. I do love it for turnabout stamps. And I also love it for layering stamps. It also does a very good impression with a lot of the polymer stamps. I find it actually, I get a better impression the first or second time versus having to do it two or three times with the hinge ones. I think it's because there's less pressure with the hinge so you get a more even texture. I also love it for spontaneous, oops, changes in ideas. I wanna add this to it, it happens. To all of us, when we look at our card and we're like, oh, it's off balance, let me add this to it. So it's great for that. So like I said, you're going to see this a lot on the future videos until things change. And it will be the main one I use. So going forward, I'm going to tell you guys, this will be used. Like I said, I do use this one still. I just don't use it on the video very often anymore because after the take off the market in <laughs> June, I mean, I use Tim Holtz and Tonic and Ranger a lot. I'm affiliates for all three. So um, I'm kind of sad that I can't even use that platform because I don't want to tease you guys with it. Because I do, like I said, I use it for mixed media, watercolor a lot because the platform's so washable. But that's just the way it is. 
So we are going to be moving forward a lot this year. There's going to be new products. There's going to be new things coming out, new techniques I want to show you. I have a list of techniques a mile long. Sadly, I had to take off some of the comparison reviews because of this what happened, but there's still tons on my list I want to show you guys. A lot will be done on this platform. Um, probably not as much on the other ones, but it, we will still have some fun showing these techniques on this. I'm also going to start branching out more into more different kits. I'm planning on also buying a bunch of these plates too, so that we can show multiple plates and what you can do with them. Might even do a full review on this platform by itself. That way you can see all the things you can do. But like I said, you see me a lot doing the hero arts. Um, there are so many other kits out there. I want to start showing some of them as much as I love doing hero arts ones. And I know you guys love the hero arts ones. Altenew has some new stuff as well as Queen and Co. And Pink Fresh is coming out with a kit, I believe, and also a bunch of them. So as much as I love doing these hero art cards every month, we might only go down into one week so I can give you more opportunities to see more kits. I'm also buying more products for our store. So look forward to that. New sequins, new rhinestones, maybe embossing powders, papers, envelopes, the works. So we are going more into the craft market and less into the cards. And sorry that these guys are back on here again, taking up time again, but I just wanted to clear things up. I wanted to just talk about the lawsuit and so that you guys understand why you can no longer receive two of these in the U.S. And you can only access this one right now. So I hope this is helpful to anyone who didn't know about the lawsuits. And if you enjoyed this video, please check out the last uploaded video, as well as a video specially curated just for you. And like always, we ask you to like, subscribe, ring for notifications. But also sign up on our newsletter on our website as well as check out Facebook and Instagram for our products on there.